This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Uh, if YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. Now, in a previous, in a previous installment of Into the Multiverse, I covered a story about a recent finding at CERN that could have pointed to new physics being discovered. Uh, there wasn't much information available at the time, but now some recent developments have surfaced. So for those brand new to this story, we can, uh, we, we can backtrack a little bit. So dark matter, which is thought to account for nearly a quarter of the matter in the universe, uh, but has yet to be observed, has perplexed physicists for decades. They're constantly looking for something surprising to show up in experiments uh, and, and results that would deviate from the standard model which defines elementary physics today. It's no wonder that the scientific community uh, became very excited when an experiment at CERN, known as ATLAS, detected a slight deviation in an experiment in July of 2018. Now, researchers thought they might have finally uncovered evidence of new physics, which could be a sign of dark matter particles. But a recent improvement of the measurement by the CMS collaboration produced results that are nearly consistent with the expectations of the standard model. So the findings were published in the January issue of the CERN Courier. Uh, Andreas Jung, a, um, an assistant professor and phys uh, of physics and astronomy at Purdue University, said, quote, We wanted to produce a more accurate result than Atlas had, so we improved the way we reconstruct quantities by using a better correction algorithm, and our results indicate there might not actually have been a deviation there. This doesn't mean there isn't anything interesting going on here. It means we don't have the data to prove it right now, end quote. So for those not familiar, the standard model explains how the basic building blocks of matter interact. Uh, it explains chemical reactions, radioactive decays, electrodynamics, and more, but it does not explain gravity or dark matter. It's the, it's the best description of the subatomic world that we have available, but it doesn't tell the whole story. So physicists are searching for things that still need to be included in the standard model or even anything that might contradict it uh, entirely. They primarily use particle accelerators, uh, or sometimes known as atom smashers, to achieve their goals. So the compact muon solenoid, or CMS, is one of four detectors at the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN. So the collider uses electromagnetic fields to propel charged particles to incredible speeds and high energies, uh, contain them in beams, and send them smashing into one another. Uh, so this, uh, the, the process remains fairly stable throughout the CMS data collecting process, but how the information from the detector is analyzed and processed is constantly being tweaked. So Jung said, quote, the detector has holes, uh, inefficiencies, and missing coverage. All of that has to be accounted for, and the process for that is called data unfolding or data correction. We developed an improvement of this unfolding method that provides a result less sensitive to the input model, end quote. Now, as the methods for interpreting data improve, the collider itself is taking some time off from experiments for renovations. Uh, and while physicists, engineers, and technicians work to make the machine stronger and more efficient, scientists will sift through the incredible amount of untouched data uh, collected thus far. And despite not seeing any strong deviations from the standard model as we know it, Jung remains hopeful. So he said, quote, some believe there's a mediator that talks to dark matter particles. If that's the case and it couples to the Higgs, we might be able to see it in uh, top quark physics. We've only looked at a fraction of the data we've collected so far. There could still be something there, end quote. Uh, Matthew Jones, an associate professor of physics and astronomy at Purdue, is also a member of the CMS collaboration, which brings together members of the uh, particle physics community from across the globe in a quest to advance humanity's knowledge of the very basic laws of our universe. So right now, CMS has over 4,000 particle physicists, engineers, computer scientists, technicians, and students from around 200 institutes 
groups and university from more than 400 or 40 countries uh, working with it. So only time will tell if they discover something that changes our understanding of quantum physics forever. We will keep our eye on it and we will keep reporting on it as news develops right here on Into the Multiverse. So thank you all so much for joining me yet again. And as always, I would like to know what you think about this. So please leave me a comment in the comment section below uh, if you are viewing this on YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. All right, everybody, have a great week, and until next time, take care and God bless. Millions of people from around the globe were stunned when U.S. President Donald Trump shocked the world by recognizing Jerusalem as the eternal capital of Israel and ordering the American embassy to be moved there. The United States finally and officially recognized Jerusalem as the true capital of Israel and opened our embassy in the historic and sacred land of Jerusalem. Over 2,000 years have elapsed since Jesus Christ warned of a day when a man of sin, the Antichrist, would appear to lead the world into deception and destruction. Even Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu admits that biblical prophecies are unfolding, that Donald Trump is a King Cyrus-like figure leading the world into a new era of man. President Trump, by recognizing history, you have made history. The Temple Mount is in our hands. Violent protests continued in the Middle East today over President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And now the official Sanhedrin in Israel declare President Trump is advancing a prophetic process that will usher in, when the time comes, the rebuilding of the Third Temple. As the world awaits, a secret incendiary scheme is underway by religious authorities, government agents, and Jewish rabbis to build a third temple. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in that holy place, then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be again. The rabbis, Donald Trump, and the top secret plan to build the third temple. For thousands of years, the world has heard warning that there is a coming day when the man of sin, the Antichrist, will arise to pilot the greatest deception in human history. Prepare yourself now for what is ahead with the coming Third Temple Collection. This incredible assortment features Dr. Thomas Horn's new book, The Rabbis, Donald Trump, and the Top Secret Plan to Build the Third Temple, where you'll learn why many believe President Trump is a King Cyrus-like figure guided by Hashem, God himself. The connection between Donald Trump, rabbis, and a behind-the-scenes scheme to erect the Third Temple, and how this, as the book of Daniel prophesied, will be the catalyst that precedes the apocalypse and arrival of Antichrist. All this and so much more. This unbelievable collection also includes best-selling author Carl Gallup's brand new book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and The Identity of Messiah, which reveals how Israel's most venerated Orthodox rabbi, Yitzhak Kaduri, came face to face with the true Messiah and said that it was Jesus Christ. You may know that much of the story, but now you can learn what's happened since. Discover the secrets, witness tampering, intimidation tactics, global media, and powerful personalities who will stop at nothing, including death threats and even ritualistic curses to cover up this new stunning revelation. But we're just getting started. The coming Third Temple collection also includes Shelley Neese's new book, The Copper Scroll Project, that highlights the decades-long quest to uncover Qumran's greatest secrets, the lost treasures of the Jerusalem Temple. 
Hold on to your hats as you'll also discover how the Dead Sea Scrolls were merely the tip of the archaeological iceberg as Jim Barfield's Copper Scroll Project tethers to Israel's modern battle for the Temple Mount, and how the secrets contained in the Copper Scroll, the most enigmatic of the Dead Sea Scrolls, might hold the key to one of the greatest treasures in Israel's history. But that's not all. You'll also receive the best of the first annual Blessed Hope Prophecy Conference on DVD. This two-disc DVD collection is jam-packed with over 11 hours of mind-boggling revelations from presenters like Dr. Thomas Horn on Deep State Saboteurs and the Secret Destiny of America, Sharon Gilbert on the return of the ancients through pharmacia, necromancy, and virtual reality, Lieutenant Colonel Robert McGinnis on the inside war against President Trump by elite secret societies, and unforgettable presentations from celebrated theologian Dr. Michael Lake. Derek P. Gilbert, Josh Peck, and more. Also included in this amazing collection, the original four-week investigative Skywatch television series regarding the coming Third Temple on DVD, featuring Carl Gallops, Shelley Neese, and Dr. Thomas Horn. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of $180. Yours now for your donation of only $30 plus shipping and handling. Now's your chance to save big. The coming Third Temple Collection, available now at Skywatch TV Store. Order online or call 844-750-4985.